She's retreating. I guess she decided I wasn't moving fast enough. But by the time she gets to the end of the block, I'll be up the block. So that dude was more trouble than she Now she's sitting back down at the end of the block, blocking the street herself. So I don't know what her problem is. That's unnecessary. Good she's mad at me, that's fine. Get the fuck out of here. Ah, sucker. Get fucked! Why is it disconnected from chat? I don't want it on the app. How do I get it to open in the fucking thing? What the fuck, man?
actual plate. It's right now, so I will stay in the it for like as long as possible. shouldn't have parked illegally.
Zippity doo ha! Zippity yay! How's everybody doing today? Everybody doing well. Are you all good today? Hey, good morning, dude. chickens. Oh damn man. I saw this video last night man where somebody like goes out on their porch and bangs a pot together and next thing you know like a friggin thousand chickens come flying out of the fucking woods. The tree just like a thousand of them. It was ridiculous. I gotta find that video and show it to you. It's fucking funny as hell. <laughs> it's like holy shit. So whatever that's what it's like when you, you call the chickens. It's on that Coriusity thing that I watch all the time. The last one, 477. I don't think you were watching when I was watching it yesterday afternoon. That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Oh yeah, is it tick that one? Yeah. That's fucking ridiculous. I'm like, holy shit. That was a lot of goddamn chickens. Parking Wars is on. Some guy's waving a gun at the parking people. He's gonna, he's gonna get his ass in jail. He's in Detroit. <laughs> he's got a license to carry a gun, but that doesn't mean you can wave it at people. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, a lot of people up last night. Oh yeah, cool man. What were you on? I mean, on streaming or people at your house? I gotta go. Fucking my buddy Greg wants me to come over and put his pool up today. I'm gonna try and stream it, but I don't know. I don't get a good signal out by his house. That's cool, man. That's nice to be busy. Nice to stay busy. You guys don't pay you too well, huh? Well, if you're on my channel, you could have made 10 bucks. <laughs> Nobody answered on my contest. So I didn't give away the 10 bucks. Ten bucks are a game anyway. Hey, I was looking at that, uh, well, why didn't you respond? You could have won. I would have paid you. I was looking at that Evil Dead game. It is like a, a campaign type, a single player game and a multiplayer game.
just watching another shooter play. Ah. No big deal, Rico. I wouldn't do it if I couldn't, didn't have it, you know what I mean? I'm not doing it. That's not, you know what I'm saying? I, I just think it's nice to do something and give back a little bit. morals and you feel as a but you're not an employee so you know what I'm saying? <laughs> not like you're an employee, you're just a cool guy that likes to help others and help streamers out. You know? yeah. I hear probably the only viewer. <laughs> I only had a couple. Let's see, uh, get my uh, hash browns going. The only, the only viewers I got was like you, Toga, and Mark. And Toga and Mark both already won, a, won one time. <laughs> They're the only one left. Well, Atlanta's in there a lot, but he's kind of like you. I don't think he would try to win the money from me. Oh, you want to do like a Discord thing or something? So right now I have to get breakfast made and, uh, and then uh, I'm supposed to go over to Greg's house and help him fucking put his pool up again. This would be like the third or fourth year in a row. And he even knows I have a hard time breathing and have a hard time doing that shit, but he asked me anyway because nobody else will help him. Oh, that's cool, man. I gotta go fucking help Greg because he's my buddy. He helped me all uh, three days, two days last week to do some work in my yard, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, we could, uh, and my chat runs even if I'm not on the stream. Or we just chat on Discord later on. Whatever you think. Well, if you want to fire me off a, a poster sized thing, make me a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> I hope you have a good one. I'd love to sit down and play, but I have to go to work. Damn. Tomatoes that aren't even ripe yet. Put a couple and put them in the window, maybe they'll ripen up for you. Now, Rico wants to talk to me. I'm in trouble now. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Get my iron. <laughs> uh, salt. Pepper. I'm burning the bacon. That's what I always end up doing. Start to do the potatoes and I start burning the bacon. I'm not paying attention to the bacon. Damn it. I was hoping Toga would show up this morning, but we tried busy. Yeah, I just did. I turned it down. Once I get these potatoes covered up, they're good for about. 10 minutes. Take about 10 minutes to get them crispy. 
wants to drive up the lot. He said only because like I said, not that special on it. If it is, you're gonna get it. Whoever in chat knows crispy bacon, they got their wish. That's why I get a lot of people who are gonna crispy please, nobody likes chewy bacon. I love bacon, it's still kinda of meaty, you know. I like it when it's still meaty. I'm gonna have your signature and her signature on me. <laughs> All the Spanish words you learn first, the curse words, yes. Same way in most languages. My mom taught me all the curse words when I was a kid. Mostly when she was smacking me in the head. You fucking stupid daddy it! The fuck is wrong with you? You ever do a damn do that again? I'll whip the living shit out of you. I'll give you something to cry about. Shit like that, yeah. I, was, I got lots of that when I was a kid. Oh well, that's good. If I get big like Coke Carnage. See, I want to do where I, I don't take it. Trying to make sure I can give back all the money I'm getting, you know, as in bits and donations. The only money I like to try to keep is subscription money. Which ain't shit because I only have like seven subscriptions. But if I just run out of my subscriptions, it would take a. Eight months to get a check. Ah, oh, that's terrible. That's too bad, brother. Uh, my mom was just an angry woman. I guess that she was very stressed out. Single mother raising me, and I was such a terrible child, you know. Not really. I was, I was very mild and meek. So I did anything, I stepped out of line, and I'd get the living shit beat up. I was been saying all oh, week, God, I feel run down. I feel like I've got no energy. I'm like, yeah, we haven't had spinach all fucking week. I guess I should have went to the store and got it. But she, she's supposed to, she does the shopping. And last week, she didn't go and do any shopping. We only had like six 
things and the shopping list. I was like, Frankie, you could have went. Good with my dad. Actually, I I reconnected with my dad when I was about 12 years old. I hadn't uh, really known him before that. I'd met him a few times, you know, see him here and there. And then when I was 12, my mom worked out a deal where I went to visit him for the summer, and uh, he treated me really good and gave me money and. Nice to me. I had his new wife, you know, was pretty good to me. And I asked him, hey, I want to come live with you because I had spent the first 12 years of my life with mom. 13 years, I figured, heck, you know, I want to go spend some time with my dad. So one Christmas, when I was going to be uh, 14, I think, I got on an airplane to go visit. My dad, for Christmas, I was supposed to come back, but I never came back. My mom was really mad, and I guess I broke her heart. I figured it was just fair, you know? That huge helicopter going over. And I spent the first 13 years of my life with her. I figured, hell, the last five could be with him, you know? Uh, you know, drink 18 and move out of the house and shit. I'm glad I did because I got to stay in one place at some one school district for five years, which I had never happened with my mom. Every year, year and a half, I would switch school districts. Mom would be Moving to a different apartment, a different job. So I was always the new kid. That made it kind of rough on me. Like I say, finally, when I moved in with my dad, we stayed in the same house, you know, the whole time. And lived down the lake, and Lake St. Clair in Michigan. It was beautiful. I, I really enjoyed being in one place. <laughs> for the, you know what I mean? and I get annoyed about stuff. I get my man, but, you know, anger. I used to get very angry, but I've changed. I, I think I'm better in my older age. Being 
My wife used to have some bad arguments and fights, but I'm much better now, I think. I still have problems, but I think I've learned to deal with it. Me and my wife did pretty well on I mean, she still gets mad at me, and I get mad at her, but I'm learned enough to uh, go easier. And that's, it's, it's easier for everyone. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, anger just is bad for your heart, it's bad for everything, bad for your nerves. Anger is bad. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to something and Something leads to the dark side, right? Is that what they say? I don't even know the whole fucking thing. Well, that would be good, don't you think? You don't want to be uh, less angry, be a kinder, gentler Rico? Rico? Whatever you prefer. I know you said you don't care. Kinder, gentler Rico. Rico Suave. <laughs> Wars. <laughs> That's funny. Why not? Try it. Do some do some uh, yoga meditation. Yeah, whatever. Whatever makes you happy. You say if you like to be angry. I mean, I, I don't know. Do you like to be angry? Oh no. Yeah, I a little bit of it. Not 
not much really. I save enough for uh, to use the next day, you know, in the pans. But, uh, what, what would you want to do with bacon fat? Hello, hello everyone. After breakfast, I have to go to uh, Greg's house and erect a pool. I was gonna put erection stream in my thing, but I figured Twitch wouldn't let me do that. Oh, yeah. I don't like greasy green beans. <laughs> That's a southern thing, right? I showed pictures of doing it, and I had a 
couple videos. So you might have seen me streaming and playing the pictures and videos. He's way out in the country, about uh, 15 miles out. So I don't remember if I uh, was able to stream from his house. I'm going to try it today, though, because I have my new 5G phone. I'm going to give it a shot. Ooh, that's a big, thick piece of damn mustard cheese there. Orange rind mustard. You like some orange rind and mustard? That's some good cheese. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me this morning. I had a long stream last night. Uh, it's pretty good karaoke. Kind of quiet. Not a lot of people came. No one won the ten dollars last night. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm eyes from smoking for thirty fucking years. That's why I can't breathe. Yeah, well, good for you, man. I remember you. And you said yesterday afternoon. Well, I don't know. It was for me. It was afternoon. You were saying I'm going to the shop for some beer. And that's the last time I heard from you. I don't remember you coming back or nothing. You said something about. Somebody watching Ms. Kiff, but I think there's a. Oh, you smoked for a lot of years? Yeah. I probably. My wife keeps telling me to go to the doctor to get it checked out, but all the doctors tell me is, you know, quit smoking weed and don't drink beer. Oh, shit, Mr. Toga. Sounds like me. I woke up this morning and I had like a. almost a full beer sitting on my desk. Must have been some good smoke. <laughs> Must have been some good smoke, Toga. I got some new stuff the other day. I was like, really good. I was like, holy shit, this is good. It's so stanky. So stinky. I gotta find a way to do sound alerts that don't. You see, I got using a sound alert thing right now that is a limited number of uses for each person during a 24 hour period. I don't know why it does that. I mean, I know why it does that because they want me to pay. service. Yeah. I'm happy with the weed. I've always been happy with the ganja. Why you have a right, the cops are gonna break down the door or something? <laughs> oh my god! The police cruiser are gonna drive by and the dog's gonna bark. They can spell it! I know sometimes I'm in a car driving around smoking it and damn canine pulls up to me in a light. Ah. And I'm like, oh shit, roll the windows up. <laughs> Put on the recirculation. Some states are still going to keep it illegal, you know, and I think the reason being is that the states want to regulate it so that uh, they make all the money. 
they don't want people, you know, backyard dealers and stuff making all the money. They want to tax the shit out of it. That's the reason. Yeah. Well, it's just that in Kentucky hates when people make money and they don't get to tax you. What? You didn't pay taxes? Well, then you're double taxed. We'll tax you twice. So we do have, you know, I think some of the... Hmm. We probably have the lowest taxes on cigarettes nationwide, pretty much. Yeah, right? Well, in some states, like, uh, somebody told me North Carolina, I think, is, uh, or, oh, Rico was telling me New York is, uh, you can grow it. It's over in Canada, Michigan. Michigan, you can grow your own. I don't know how the rules. My problem with growing it is I probably wouldn't grow as good as some of them, the, the, what the weed the dispensaries get, you know? I would never be able to grow it that good. Oh, yeah? Oklahoma, la, 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 la. Words, but it's a popular song. <laughs> oh, Let's see if I can uh, move my camera to the dining facility. Let's go to the dining facility. I gotta feed the dogs, I forgot. Thank you. Guy was crying his ass off for the ticket lady. And then he turns around and says, oh well that's right. He was crying just to you try and get off the ticket. So what level is your rex you're working on, Toga? Are you running around with four rexes following you around and you're killing everything in sight? I'd like to get back into some arc, but I want, you know, just gently modded, you know, the S plus stuff. And no fucking around. I guess I could put my own ARC server up. Ooh. 
Oh, amen. Sorry, I'm a bad man. Oh, man. I dread this pool erection. It's hot out there, man. No fucking spinach in it, man. It sucks. I see my neighbor has his jug of pee out on the porch again. Brings a milk gallon jug with pee in it outside every day and pours it outside. It's disgusting. I tell him, pour it in the fucking toilet. He don't listen to me. Oh yeah, those are cool. I got my garden is started. Frankie got started on it. Yesterday I screened you from the garden a little bit. I was out there, I put uh, cardboard on the ground around the plants to keep the weeds down and help keep the old, old ground damp. Seems to be working really good. You know, I got me one of them little uh, hydroponic kits, and I tried to grow some stuff in it, but it didn't work good. I got the chemicals to put in the water and all that shit. Stuff just wouldn't grow right. I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta build a raised bed. like metal or plastic or uh, treated wood and build a box up a foot or two, you know, and fill that with good dirt. That way it can drain. Put gravel in the bottom, some nice sandy soil. That's why you do raised beds. Have you ever seen the thing where, uh, I've seen people take, just put a, a straw bale or a hay bale on the ground and then just cut a little hole in it and Put some dirt in there and just uh, throw the stuff right into straw bales. I've seen people do that too. I've seen people do it with tomatoes and all kinds of stuff. This thing? Yes, that thing. I didn't know what it was. I don't know. Let's see, I never tried it. We just grew them in the ground. But yeah, last year, our, ours is really damp, too. We, uh, it rains all the fuck. In fact, it's fixing to rain again here this afternoon, supposedly. But we have had like three or four dry days this week, so that's nice. Can't wait to get this pool done and get back home, man. But is that? I think this will be the third or fourth time I've done the pool. I've never ever sat swam in it. I'm not a big swimmer. Well, that's cool. Yeah, good luck with that. 
feels so much better. I bet it is. I just got uh, over at the rental house, we cleaned up a bunch of stuff and there was landscaping plastic timbers, like they're big long, eight foot long, foot high, like they're plastic boards that are made to make, like, make, well, some of them are full of water. <laughs> well, I guess they're not anymore. I found an anthill underneath one. Yeah, as soon as you, you lay something on the ground, ants start growing under it. Man. I had that tire out front, I flipped it over to get it out of the way a little bit. And there was a big old ant nest. What are you going to do with that fucking tire, man? Well, they're supposed to have tire amnesty day once a year, so hopefully they'll eventually come get it. They told me they don't do it every year. Well, then I got to take it to Nortonville and give it to Snake. Their, their landfill takes up to six tires a day from, well, resi from residents. Take those too. What? The tires that were on the trailer. Where are they? I don't know where you put them. Here's your wife. Here she fucking do. No, I have no idea where they're at. He's gone. Who took them? I don't know. The tire fairy. You're lying to me. I don't lie. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. She called me a liar, boys. I'm a liar, I'm a storyteller. No, storyteller. <laughs> you got that? No. You got all of that? I wish we, uh, mm. you do that when we're having sexy time. Mmm, be like a vibrator. Got that one too. Yeah, we used to, uh, and they said they'd pick up tires, but I guess now she says she called them, they don't do it anymore. It's not as often. Like once every five years. Yeah, I, I talked to the guy because I asked him, because they were there. I'm like, well, how do I get rid of these tires? Well, I don't know how you're going to get rid of them, but they don't take them. I'm like, well, fuck. Somebody called me. Did you know that? I didn't hear it. It was Aiden nine minutes ago. Okay. Well, your phone's never ringing, so... Well, that's because I'm a... She keeps her phone on silent. I'm gonna have to... Eat your breakfast and then call him back. Or right, he'll be like, well, I'm too busy now. That was your scheduled time for this month. That's it. That's when I had scheduled for you. <laughs> well, see, that's how I got the damn tires, most of them. Out at the rental house, every now and then I go there to be another fucking tire in the yard. Because they dump them there. People were dumping them in my yard. They're not even my tires. None of them. None of them. None of them are my tires. But I'm stuck with it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank Wish you. there was spinach. Yeah. We up there to get bacon. There's no spinach at fucking what the fuck. They don't have good vegetables. They got frozen spinach. Yeah. yeah, right? I would like to, but I ain't done. <laughs> I'm not that gutsy. We're honest. Figured I'd be get caught. We're honest. Do the right thing all the time. Nope. That's upside down. Uh, so hungry, her stomach thought her throat was cut. I got out across the street every time I. Like, I don't know, man. Get out of here. Just you your own fucking grass, bitch. What are you doing? You're sitting down the porch watching you? I'm standing in the doorway. Okay. Then he let his dog out. While you're outside the fence? Yeah, and the dog was barking at me. I stopped and I looked at that dog and gave it a fucking look and it took off onto its yard. Yeah. I got the look, man. <laughs> yeah, she does the mowing because I can't do it. 
Well, I can mow the outside of the fence with the tractor. Yeah. I gotta get my tractor fence. You don't have it. You can't get against the fence line because. Uh, Not really close, no. Because of the uh, wood that used to be there. There's still pieces of wood there. No big deal. Yeah, she did everything. Today. She mowed the yard, weed whacked, everything. She kicked that. I ran out of line. That's a brand new royal I just filled well, up. Well, it broke. I broke I don't it. know. Probably that I was using it out there at the Road. Probably ran it out. There's all the lines in there. I wasn't going to do no more. That's fine. Now you got everything you needed. Yeah, I got most of it. I got what needed to be done. Let's put it that way. My car still needs to be done, but I didn't move it, so. Yeah, it's in the sun. You don't have anywhere in the shade to put it. It was in the shade. This morning, yeah. But I didn't move it to cut around the car, honey. Mm -hmm. oh, I thought you were talking about washing it. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm trying to. Get something in my belly because I couldn't go over and help Greg unless I ate something first. I don't think I'm gonna mess with Randy. I might ask him, but I don't know. Uh, about your garden? What'd you do? Water in it. <laughs> we put in cucumbers, like. Oh, six plants. Make two kinds of tomatoes. Better boy or big boy. And romas. A couple romas. The peppers are getting ate up by something. Yeah, the slugs, slugs or something. They need to put more beer cans out there. And some eggshells instead of stopping them over here. Yeah, that's, right that's what I've been trying to tell yeah. you. You can always take some shovelfuls of dirt from back there. We need to just take some of that dirt that's back there and throw it out front. Mm -hmm. Put it in the wheelbarrow. Take a nice wheelbarrow full of dirt out there. That's good damn dirt there, boy. Yeah. Yeah, take more, a bunch of more beer cans, put them around our green peppers, man. To kill the snails and slugs. I mostly drink all the beer. I remember I have to drink all the beer. I leave some in there. But they're only good for one night, really, because then the sun comes out and dries up the beer in them, and they're no good. So you only put them out at the afternoon and then check them in the morning. Or go around in the evening and pour a little bit more beer in all the cans. I guess I can do that. That's beer abuse. Not if it saves our vegetables, I mean. It's, it's a... So two is a necessary <laughs> Not these snails, they're small garden snails. <laughs> they're not them big ass land snails. Well they're land snails, but they're tiny little bastards. They eat a lot. Yeah, they eat a lot. Did you feed them dogs? They act mm -hmm. like they're crazy starving. Their food is there from last night. They never even touched it. And all of your food. I felt something damp. Did you sneeze in here? Blow some water in it? Probably lick you. Yeah, I should have used it first. It was so pretty. Oh man. I'm gonna try to take the camera out to uh, the phone out to Greg and see if it'll stream out there. Probably won't. I'm sure she doesn't stream from her phone. Streaming is different than uh, I really don't care. Streaming is different than a phone call. Takes a lot more data. New South China?
where I do the cowboy stuff so I can live stream when we're doing shows. And like, nope, you'll never get service out there. Sorry, it sucks to be you. Too bad. No, we're not planning on expanding to the area. Sorry about your luck. It's my damn people at my phone. Mobile service told me. Text look bigger? Why? I'm, I'm, not sure. I'm asking, did you adjust it so it's bigger? Or, not? or is that the normal size? Oh, I got regular large. Why? I gotta figure out where that setting is. That's in there. truck was there on a weekend. They only have during a week. You don't even know if the coffee is any good. It's worth a try and people say it's good on Facebook or whatever. They don't know what coffee tastes oh, like. Look, I can still try it. You gotta try it, woman. I didn't say you couldn't try it. I'm just saying they don't Damn. know what coffee tastes like. Coffee is good. They look like they know what they're doing. Mm. Oh, Lori Moses. Where them people that go out in the wilderness doing the streaming, they get like, those things are expensive. They get like three wireless modems that connect cellular with three different carriers and they they bind all three of the damn modems together to be able to get a signal out in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. You need your little hand gestures. They're like uh, $500 to $1,000 a month just for that kind of service. Oh, you made buku money. Yeah, if I had thousand people watching me all the time, it'd be worth it. But you know, if I went out in the woods and lived naked and afraid, they might watch me. No, they wouldn't. Why not? Because I'm on TV. It's free. But I'm real naked afraid. That's yep. fake. 
Idea. They're faking in a parade. Okay. <laughs> yeah, stream, yeah, right, exactly. Streaming backpacks, they call them. Yeah, I looked into it, and even the lowest price one is mm. like 600 bucks a month. Because you're basically renting the equipment and paying for the service. We didn't try for five years. Uh, 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 I haven't tried for five years. Three years. No, a year. Oh, so you were faking it the other three no, years? No, we didn't. First five years of our marriage, I wasn't planning on it. Uh, I didn't say that. Whatever. I was trying for five years. Okay. How was I? Alright, dogs. One more nibble of potatoes. Potato nibble incoming. Assume the potato nibbling position. Nom 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 nom. Potato nibbling, ginger style. <laughs> no, I would like hash brown potatoes. So do I. I'm gonna check out what cinnamon has. She's pushing cinnamon out of the way. Hey, did you leave any crumbs there? Did you get everything? Let me check. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, excuse me. I'm trying to stuff all this shit in. Uh, oh, whatever, it. dumbass. Who you is on it, dumbass? Zeo Preet, if you say hello right now, I'll come and buy your follows. Zeo Preet, can you do it? Say hello. Ah, hating okay, it. <laughs> Too late, Zeo Preet. Missed your chance. <laughs> Got banned. <laughs> I was given a chance. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, Nemesis. I always like to give him a chance, Rico, you know? <laughs> oh. Answer me now. Say hello. How about your follows? They never say nothing. All righty right. now. That's what I Time for my vitamin. Yeah, I know, you're quick. <laughs> Not quick enough that time. That was just beat you to it. I was wondering if it was going to be you or Toga, but yeah, Toga said he's doing, uh, he's playing Ark. I wonder if he's streaming it. Alright. Probably not. But he says you don't have good, uh, kind of bogs him down. That's a fire there, I got you. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Here you go. Where'd the other dog go? Yeah, drink the water. Mm, speaking of firing, I can take one of my some of my guns out there to Greg. Shoot a little. I don't want to stay long. Long enough to shoot off 20, 30 rounds. 
I'm gonna have fun. Yeah. Even if I'm demonstrating gun safety. Not in a. Are you happy I was gonna be gone? I know what you're saying, Frederico. Hey, but when streamers get banned, they always come back stronger, don't they? Isn't that what all the big streamers do? They get banned and everybody's like, Oh, you're banned by a streamer. Hey, wee, wee. Look at Dr. Disrespect. Permanent ban. I'm just messing with you, Rico. I used to show my guns and knives on stream when I first started. I probably don't. I've got a pretty cute behind, though. <laughs> At least that's what I'm told. Who's got a cute behind? You told me. Oh, I did that? You did that? I cleaned my plate, had my vitamins, I had a good jug of cold water. I know, man. My guns are part of my acting. What's part of your acting? You know, if you're... I don't know, probably not. I read the TOS and it said about using weapons in a threatening manner. I mean, if I'm just using them and not threatening someone, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm not worried about it. Not like I'm running There's around. Too many people with thin skin. I know. Yeah, exactly. That's what uh, that's what Nemesis said. What thin skin? Yeah, that everyone's so sensitive. You know. Oh, yeah. That's the same thing, being sensitive and thin skin. Thin skin. Huff, huff it up. Yeah, I think, yeah, that would be cool. I'd watch you juggle knives. Yeah, because if you get hurt with it, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure they weren't very sharp knives, right? Or maybe they were, I don't know. Well, dull knives are worse than sharp knives. Well, okay. That sounds interesting. Oh, uh, Toga, 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 what are you doing, Toga? He's gone to play Ark and level up his little creatures. <gasps> I gotta go upstairs and get my computer. Oh, man. Alright. Let me get my. Uh, Get uh, some stuff together, and then we'll get in the truck. Head out to Greg's. Yeah, you can't play it no more. 
It won't play on your PC? It don't play on your PC, buddy? That sucks. Damn, my phone's still almost full. Ninety-four percent from streaming. And I've been streaming in an hour and a half and it's only used six percent of the battery. That's ridiculous good. I don't know if the, how good the signal will go. I'm going to go outside and can show you the garden if you want. You're talking about gardening, Nemesis? Phone I'm using? Oh, it's a Motorola G100. It's a nice phone, man. Yeah, I don't... It might go a little fuzzy because I'm on Wi-Fi. If I get too far from the house, it may try to switch to... Uh, uh, Cellular data, which it will call, switch back. But uh, let me switch it to the front cam, which is more uh, higher resolution. Oops, fuck. Here's the uh, gardens over there, but here's some of our uh, house plants we brought out. This here is my uh, uh, lemon tree here. See, this. This here is my lemon tree with the variegated leaves on it. See, it's even getting a flower right there. You can see it where my finger is. It's getting a little flower right there at the that leaf. I've got one lemon right there. You see that? One little lemon. See it? There's my wife. This is a banana plant. This is a ponytail palm. Here's my pe petunias. I like petunias. You gotta pull all the dead flowers off or it'll quit blooming. Yeah, it's got a little tiny, it hasn't made a, I've only had it a couple years. See, it's got a tiny one right there. It's, it probably won't get much bigger. I don't know, we'll see. Let's walk over by the garden. And they're supposed to be pink lemons that are variegated. But, uh, I'm trying not to get too far from the house. It may get a shitty signal. But yeah, you can see I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tomato plants over there. And uh, I got uh, under here, uh, one, two, there's four green pepper plants. Right there. And then there's like six cucumbers over there. No, it's just a lemon tree I bought like that. And there's some, I've got irises and lilies all along the house, which they already done their blooming. And this is poison ivy. I need to spray it. And here's uh, some of my irises. They, they, these ones that already bloomed there are the dark purple ones. These are 
a light purple. These ones already bloomed. There's my rose bush. And these ones here are getting ready to bloom. These are like my coral iris. See, that one just opened today. Right there. That one there just opened today. And then, of course, those are all our peonies. We got lots of peonies. And there's the peonies back there. And there's the cinnamon. And the cinnamon dog. She's looking for lizards and moles. They dig up lizards, or dig up moles and eat lizards. Well, they don't eat lizards, but if they do, they'll get sick to their stomach. I think she learned her lesson. She chases them, but one time she caught one and ate the lizard's tail and was sick for three days. So. Whew. Well, whew, that's the, that's all I could stand. <laughs> oh, well here, uh, uh, oh, I thought you already had a roommate. Watch TV for a minute. I gotta go to the restroom. And I'll be right back.
don't put anything valuable down there. You told me, and she turned it off while you were in the shower. You want your cat home? Do you want Brody? Okay. I'll give her some Benadryl and I'll bring her. This is the thing. Let me explain why. Okay. All right. She has attacked Ginger three times in three weeks. Um, I think it's more of a dominance thing. You know, she's trying to find her, her place in the hierarchy of the animals. And um, so now she is actually living in Quentin's room, where those two rooms are, because she has attacked Ginger three times. I don't think that, well, I don't know if that would be an issue with another cat, because another cat will take and beat the fuck out of her. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we'll just keep her, uh, I, you know, she is your cat, uh, I just want to ask. But oh well, then you can't have Brody because she's never been fixed and she's too old to get fixed. I gotcha. He's okay. got a boy cat now. Yeah. No, his roommate has oh, a cat. I got you. Sorry. Gosh, you know. Sorry, I spoke. I'll shut the fuck up. Damn. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Woo woo woo. I know, you told me that. What are you going to do with that? And where is your car, by the way? Get it fixed. It should be Where is your car? Oh my God. I can't believe that thing. Transmission broke down. You on need the kid's car in Montana. He had a brand new transmission put in at the Ford dealership, and now it went out again. It needs to go into okay, the dealership. You, you it design. should be under warranty. The dealership papers. Well, we need to do it quickly before the warranty runs out. They probably only give you 12 months or some shit. Okay. Well, how much, just out of curiosity, I mean, I do have your title to the car. Um, do you want me to send you the title? All right, I guess I'm... Me water. Ah. And get me some ice water and uh, get my shit together. Probably take my sun hat and get the fuck out of Dodge.
for the car. Oh, shit. You might as well fix it and sell it. Yeah, it should be, because he just had it done, like, within the last year. Sure, I got it in together. But are it are can I speak please? Are they a a, a, a shop or this tow truck only? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Ready. ready to go. Uh, Gotta go. Right. Yeah. Take these beer cans out and put them in the garden. So it will kill the. Oh goodness, my husband's putting cans in the garden for this one. Well, at least. Well, we need to get rid of them. I can't open the door and take you with me, Chad. I couldn't carry you all out there. Are you talking me? I love you. Bye. Bye bye. I gotta grab a couple more things and I'll be out of here. Upright position. <laughs> I have a uh, whole lot to do uh, last week. Um, and then I uh, carry everything. Got to get my day. Yep. Cinnamon. <laughs> Cinnamon and ginger. What's that? Uh, I'm just leaving in cans here. Right? You like it? Hands are too full, man. Well, we're going to go disconnect from the Wi-Fi. Eh, I'm going to bring my own. He drinks girl beer. And I might lose connection for a little bit, but I should pop back. So, I hope. If I don't come right back, I will in a few minutes. So, hang on. I'll leave it here for a minute.
in Iraq to Z97.5. Did you hear about the Tennessee Motorcycle and Music Revival that's going down next week? Well, if not, listen up. It's happening May 19th, 20th, 21st, and 22nd. We got tickets for you. Text MOTO to 77000 for your chance to win two four-day passes. Plus, we have a chance for someone to win some VIP passes as well with some special meet and greets with Ben and Noel Haggard, the son of Merle Haggard. Make sure you sign up for your chance to win right now. For more information, head on over to MotorcyclesAndMusic.com. Assert your dominance over your Amazon Echo by shouting, Alexa, play Z97.5. Show that two ladies is boss. Everything that rocks is Z97.5. Power Sports of America is now your Kawasaki dealership for off-road and on-road vehicles. We have great Kawasaki models like the new 2022 Kawasaki Terex KRX 1000. And we've got all your accessories, parts, and service covered too. At Power Sports of America, located at 3051 Old Husband's Road in Paducah, off I-24, exit 11. Call or text 270-744-5200 or check them out online at powersportsofamerica.com. Your new authorized Kawasaki dealership is Power Sports of America. Hey, Chris, remember back when there was nothing to do in Clarksville? Yeah, those were the days. When you go skinny dipping down the Red River, we'd have to slap the water with branches to drive off the cottonmouths. Wait, what? Now there's so much going on, you need a way to sort things out. Skinny dipping where? That's why we have the Summer Fun Guide, where you'll find listings for festivals, concerts, and events, like downtown at Sundown and Jazz on the Lawn. It's updated weekly on ClarksvilleNow.com. You used to go skinny dipping with snakes? Of course not. They've got your attention. Clarksville Now, your community, your news, your source for summer fun. Wow, Linda, everything in your backyard looks so green and beautiful. What's the one over there? That's a flowering dogwood. And what about that one? That's a star magnolia. Ooh, and how about those over there? Oh, those are the new May instant games from the Tennessee Lottery. With chances to win up to $500,000, they might be the greatest thing I planned all year. Don't just settle for a green thumb this spring. Go for a greener wallet with new instant games from the Tennessee Lottery. Game-changing fun. Please play responsibly. You'd be amazed to learn what one thing. Oh man, I gotta get some. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get shit together. I forgot my battery. I gotta go back in the house and get my damn battery. I gotta get some. Even I can get some ice and a couple beers. I don't want to take too many with me. These little things that can fit right in. And then that's the last of this class. And so that'll keep them icy. I'll tell you what, this class, I had to read three chapters in two days. And I'll tell you what, that's yeah, yeah, Ben and Noel. Yeah, I've been to their show. Yeah, yeah I know, Rico. That's all I get, Rico. Sorry, that's all you get. All the meat you get. Yeah, they, they play quite a bit around this area, Ben and Noel Hager. 
Kissy, kissy, bye bye. Here's where we're gonna lose the signal. So, should be back in a little bit. Once I get in the car and start driving. Man, I still have to go get my damn. I got my battery pack. Damn it. Shit. I've got to go in the house and get my battery pack. Sorry, chat. Whew. Fuck, it's hot in here. Here last night we had a critter in our garage. I don't know what it was, but the dogs were trying to get into it. We had to get the dogs out of there. The dogs were barking at it, and it was behind one of my toolboxes growling at the dogs. I think it probably was a baby raccoon. Maybe a possum? I don't know. Oh, motherfucker, it's hot in here. I'll tell you what, boy. It is so fucking hot. I don't know if you can hear me. 40? If it's like, what are you talking about? Oh, squads. Oh, I got you. Yeah, you know Frankie's. Screams, streams, exercising every morning, you know that, right? Make sure you shout out Frankie. Six days a week, she streams. Alright, let me shut off my wireless. 
I'm gonna swap the cell, so I'll probably go offline for a few minutes, a minute or two.